Hey guys, you're watching Keith Straight Up and I am Keatlin and today we are going to make a caprese quesadilla. I love everything caprese, caprese panini, caprese salad, pretty much just anything that has fresh mozzarella, tomato, basil, I mean it gets me every time. I'll always order something like that on a menu if they have it. And I had recently a caprese quesadilla and I decided to remake it in my house for lunch because it was epic, it was gooey, it was cheesy, it had all the flavors of a caprese sandwich or something smothered in a delicious quesadilla and it was fantastic. You guys are going to love it. So we are going to start by spreading a pesto on a flour tortilla that is going to be our quesadilla. Now you don't want to get it all the way to the end because it does kind of move out a little bit. So just right around the center, like so. So after you have a nice, generous helping of a pesto on your flour tortilla, you're going to place it into a hot grill pan. Now, the, in your pesto sauce, there's usually like quite a bit of garlic and stuff, so you don't need to add any other um, seasonings because it kind of all comes right here in that pesto. So we're going to put it down onto our nice hot pan and then get ready to add our other ingredients. Can't have anything comprese if you don't have fresh mozzarella and tomato. It's really easy. This has just a few ingredients and it is super yummy. So I have some slices of a fresh mozzarella right here that I'm going to just lay onto my tortilla and we're going to get it melting. After the mozzarella, we're just going to spoon in our tomato pretty evenly throughout. I like to have my quesadillas, you know, every bite I want a little bit of flavor. So you don't want to have anything that, you know, any bite that's missing any of this fabulousness. <laughs> so we are going to add on our second shell right up top. So it is going to kind of smush everything together and kind of push everything out to the ends. So that's why you want to leave a little bit of space around your quesadilla, but you want to make sure that you have all that flavor throughout so that when we squish it all down, every bite gets a little bit of it all. <laughs> then we are going to top it with our other shell with pesto and kind of give it like a nice push down to really kind of squeeze that all together. And then we're going to start to let our cheese melt. Once we have our quesadilla topped and on our stove, we're going to go ahead and cover it so our cheese melts extra quickly without our flour tortilla burning. We're going to let it cook until the cheese gets going a little bit and then give it a flip and let it go on the other side. Once your cheese is melted and you can see into your quesadilla and it's all gooey and ready to eat, you're going to pull it off with those beautiful grill marks and take it over to get sliced up and eaten. So then after it's nice and melty, you get a knife and you just give it a nice cut into triangles. I'll just move to the side here. And you have a delicious, cheesy, caprese quesadilla. That looks fantastic. It is going to be so good. I'm going to take a bite. Mmm, yum, love it. That caprese quesadilla is bomb, and I had to like refocus, but <laughs> make sure to subscribe to Cage Straight Up for more recipes like this one every week. Find me on Instagram, Cage Straight Up Cooking, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.